What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel and another episode of Thirsty Thursday Beer Reviews. And today we are going to taste test my favorite style of beer, a sour. <laughs> Peach berry pie. I like peaches. Not a big peach guy. You're really not. Not a big, a big pie guy. You live in Jersey, like not a big have... sour guy. This is starting off amazing. How about rhubarb? You a fan? Rhubarb. I do love some rhubarb. No. <laughs> I don't think I have rhubarb. To be honest with you, it sounds. Uh, Tin Barn Brewing, up in. Uh... Roll it. You're making this awkward. Oh, I'm sorry. Tin Barn Brewing. In uh, Hudson Valley, they have one place in the Hudson Valley, New York, is their main brewery, and they have a second location up in the Finger Lakes in Dundee. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how this ended up here and in the fridge. There's a four pack of it. I didn't buy it. I don't know who brought it here, but uh, might as well try it out. We're drinking it. All right. All right. Let's, let's go. go. Oh, what in the world are we doing? 6.2%. It's an interesting color, man. It is an interesting color. Orangish, reddish. It's like amber orange, kind of. It's got that, like, almost like a honey kind of, maybe. Mm -hmm. It's got peaches in it. Wow. It's a lot of peaches. I don't I, smell any rhubarb. I don't smell anything but peaches. Oh, you know what rhubarb smells like nope. all of a sudden? <laughs> Nothing but peaches, man. And like ripe peaches, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right. right. Best of luck to you. Cheers. What is that? What is that? What is that? It's on my tongue and it won't get off. <laughs> what is it? There's a weird aftertaste, man. No? You don't have an aftertaste? No, not really. Oh, dear Lord. I got all peaches. And like sweet berry. It's like syrupy. Yeah, it's got some... Uh, got some viscosity to it. You can see when you roll it around the glass how it kind of... Yeah. I taste the peaches, but then when I swallow, there's something different. Might be the rhubarb. If that's rhubarb, uh, I'm glad I haven't been eating rhubarb for 47 years. I love rhubarb. I like I like it. This is this is a tough last for you. We've uh we've done some sours on here that have really you've liked surprised more, me and I've right. liked. Yes. This isn't going to be one of them. You've liked more sours than I thought you would. Mm -hmm. I think you've liked more sours than you thought you would. Mm -hmm. This one's not one of them. This is... Uh, it's got a really... You know why? Because Really cause funky... This is like... Aftertaste. Th you got to be a hardcore sour guy. Like, you really got to enjoy I'd rather it be more like. sour and less funky aftertaste. Mm -hmm. If you're not into sours, there's a good chance you're going to hate this. Mmm. Mmm. I like it. Okay, well, describe it then, because all I'm getting is... I, I'm getting... Well, the, no, obviously the nose is like smacky in the mouth, kind of peach. I get a lot of peach up front, and I kind of think it finishes with like a... Almost like a rounded kind of like a like berry... You know, it's not very licious. It's very licious. Yeah. Mm hmm. Well, good. There's two more in there you can drink on the next lap. I will. I, I might take you up on that, actually. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, yeah, I'm not getting I mean, it shows you, it shows you how different, like, you know, people's palates are. I, I'm not getting that. That funky aftertaste that you're getting. 
maybe it's just whatever flavor of fruit that I'm just not digging it. Yeah, I mean, I'm a fan of rhubarb. Rhubarb is only in season, you know, in the fall. This but, does say it's a mm-hmm. fall beer. Yeah. It says that you can uh, have your pie and drink it, too. No, it's not your pie. No. Well, here's the thing. I mean, You can have this pie and drink it, too. <laughs> oh, boy, there's a lot left in there. A lot of sour. So I, I got. I really. I don't like it, and I got nothing really. I don't even know what that flavor is. <laughs> so where where you at on that? While I savor my sour. <laughs> it, it's low for me, man, and I hate. To, I hate to just. I hate to trash any beer. I'm gonna make you feel better. Like but this, it's, to me, it's like a two seven five. All things considered, three. Maybe just tell me how would you like it? I like it, but I don't. I don't love it for a sour. I give it a. I wouldn't buy this again, but I would drink it because you have it. I give it a uh, one seven five. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, I, we've had a few of these sours that I really, really liked. I can't get on board with this one. Yeah, I, I mean is, it's probably the perfect combination. Of everything I don't like, peaches. Yeah, if you don't rhubarb. Like, I mean, if you don't like peaches, you're done. And sours. I, and we live in such a great state for peaches. I'm kind of shocked you don't like peaches. I don't know anywhere where there's a peach farm. On Route 30, that we ride by all the time to where, uh, before uh, Fielders, before uh, Prohibition. Of all things, I think of for New Jersey, peaches isn't top five. It is. It is though. It's top five crop. Corn, tomatoes, blueberries, cranberries. Eggplant, peaches. Well, then that's, that's, then that's six. Yeah. Yeah, I don't... Mm-hmm. Yeah, not for me. Uh, I think if you're not a big uh, sour fan, I don't think you're going to like it. Yeah, I mean, if you don't like peaches and like that peach berry kind of pie mix with like uh, a really intense tartness accompanied to buy it, uh, not gonna be your not gonna be your beer. Um, it's not the most well-rounded sour, although they it delivers on the peach front. Um, oh yeah, it, it's not the well, the most well-rounded beer. Um, and ironically, when you look up Tin Barn Brewing, they specialize in New England IPAs, and <laughs> here we are drinking a, <laughs> a peach berry sour. So maybe we'll have to try one of their IPAs. Um, but I know like where they're located, it's farm country and I'm sure it's difficult not to want to, you know, yeah. do a sour like where, where they are. Uh, it's a beautiful part, a beautiful, beautiful riding up there. So, um, I could see it, but not for you. No, I'm good. All right. Wrap this puppy up. Well, listen, thanks for watching. <laughs> hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. Um, give us a share. Leave us a comment and tell me. Tell us. Uh, there's a lot of you guys in the area, so let us know if you've been to Tin Barn, um, or let us know if you know how this beer found its way to Bert's fridge. That would Who be did that? Better. Who did it? <laughs> All right. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.